So one of the first things you're going to need to do is to actually get the video footage onto your Pi. Um, so I use um, my laptop to connect into the Pi with software called WinSCP. So I'm going to create a new session and I'm going to select the protocol um, SCP and I'm going to um, type in the host name, username and password of my Pi. Alternatively you could just put this on a, a USB key, plug it, in, plug it into your Pi and through the, um, the GUI you could just transfer it into the same directory. Um, make sure you put it into slash home slash pi directory. That's where we're going to work from. So the next thing we need to do is to install the software called OMX Player. This is basically the software that will actually output the video footage to the um, to the screen. Um, so it's going to open up a terminal prompt, and then we're going to run the command sudo apt-get install OMX Player, and that's uh, all there really is to it. And uh, we'll say yes if it prompts us to. And then once that's completed, we can um, then use the software. So the next thing we have to do is actually have to download the scripts and um, install them into the correct directory on our operating system. So if we change into a directory called slash etc slash init.d, that is a directory that holds um, a lot of the system's um, startup scripts. And we're going to use the wget command with the minus o switch, and we're going to name our file a splash screen, and then give it the URL where the file um, is online, and that will download um, that particular um, file. Call it a splash screen, and write it to slash etc slash init.d. You notice that the um, I forgot to put the sudo um, command at the front to give that command root privileges because that is a protected folder. Um, so once that's downloaded, we can run the command ls minus l. Um, a splash screen to make sure that the file has been created and then we'll run the more command to read the actual content of the file and then what we'll see there is it will actually give us um, the script and in the script you can see the place where OMX player will try and launch the video which is slash home slash pi and the video file is called video.mov but I want to change that because um, I've got an mp4 file so I'm just going to run the command sudo nano forward slash um, etc slash init.d a splash screen which will allow me to edit the file I'm going to come down I'm just going to change the extension type to uh, video.mp4 and then just save that file okay great okay so now all of our scripts and our video files are in place we just need to make sure everything runs properly um, on the boot sequence so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to edit a file using sudo nano slash boot and then the, the files called cmdline.txt um, and what we're going to basically do is add the word um, quiet at the end of it. And what this will do is it will stop certain uh, information being written to the screen um, to actually minimise the amount of black and white text and um, that we actually see um, before our video starts um, to kind of have the nice, the nicest visualisation we can get. Then what we need to do is we need to um, change the file permissions on our um, startup script in slash etc slash init.d a splash screen um, that basically ensures that it has the right permissions to run and what we're going to do is we're going to run the command sudo um, ins serv on, on our script file which will ensure that the um, the scripts gets um, added to the boot sequence so the last thing we need to do is to quickly um, edit a file called slash etc slash rc.local this is a file that runs after all other services have started. I'm just going to add the clear command to the bottom of the, um, the system display and that will just clear the screen out so all the old system messages are removed. And let's reboot our Pi and test.
So if you like what we do here, uh, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to the YouTube channel.